A key message from Chinese Premier Li Keqiang is that China will not resort to stimulus policies to counter short-term fluctuations in the economy. It is a strong statement because as China's economy shows signs of slowing in the first quarter, many have wondered if the government will roll out more stimulus policies to shore up the economy. But Premier Li Keqiang ruled out the possibility and showed confidence in the economy. Take a listen. According to the statistics, currently China's employment rate has been increasing continuously. The income of the people, the profits of the enterprises and the fiscal revenue of the government are also seeing stable growth. The overall prices are kept at a stable level, while the growth of the power consumption is on an uptick. The positive signs are mounting in structural adjustment. The Chinese economy has got off to a stable and good start. Premier Li Keqiang also called for more regional economic cooperation. He said China takes an open attitude towards the Trans-Pacific Partnership. Uh, the regional trade pact has so far excluded China, which is seen as not meeting free market requirements. China takes an open approach to the Trans-Pacific Partnership. As long as the TPP is conducive to the development of global trade and the fostering of an equitable and open trading environment, China is happy to see it reach a conclusion. Guangxin, we understand the Premier mentioned a new uh, connectivity program between Shanghai and the Hong Kong stock markets. Uh, what do we know about that? Uh, Premier Li mentioned the uh, program in his speech, and the details were later revealed by the Chinese Securities Regulatory Commission. And the pilot program will let investors in Shanghai and Hong Kong to buy or sell up to $3.8 billion of stocks each day uh, in certain companies on each other's exchanges. Uh, the program will launch in six months. It is seen as another step towards opening China's capital markets and letting Chinese individuals to buy foreign assets overseas. And currently, the main way for foreign investors to access China's tightly controlled capital market is, to, is through a quota scheme for institutions, Bill. Financial risks are another uh, big topic there at the forum, have there as the defaults that some people have been talking about, which has never happened before. The folks, the experts you're talking to, what are they saying about that issue? Well, there have been some concerns about the corporate defaults, but according to many economists I interviewed, the concern has been overstated. For example, according to Stephen Roach, it is just a norm in a market economy. China's had one default, maybe two, if you're, if you're uh, you know, and, and it will probably have an awful lot more in the years ahead because that's normal for any market-based uh, uh, financial system. The fact that China's had none is indicative of the heavy hand of government uh, as a central planner in making certain that no one fails. And the government, as it's pulling out uh, from central planning, going to more of a market-based uh, 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 system, uh, the, the defaults will be normal. And according to Nobel Prize winning economist Michael Spence, he said the debt level in China is containable. And according to Time Burn, a senior VP of Moody's, China's financial, uh, financial risks are manageable even, even if the economy slows below 7%.